title, The Storm and the Lighthouse. Once upon a time, in a small village by the sea, there was a boy named Peter. He lived with his father, Mr. Harrison, who was the lighthouse keeper. The lighthouse stood tall on a rocky hill, its bright light guiding ships safely to the harbor. Peter was a curious boy, always asking questions and eager to learn. He loved the sea, the waves, and most of all, the lighthouse. It made him feel proud that his father had such an important job. The lighthouse helped save lives. One day, Peter asked his father, why do you stay up every night watching the light? Mr. Harrison smiled and said, Peter, it's our job to make sure the light never goes out. Without it, ships might crash into the rocks. We must always be ready, no matter how tired we are. Peter nodded, but didn't fully understand. He thought being a lighthouse keeper was simple. All you had to do was light the lantern and keep watch. He often wondered why his father always seemed so serious. Weeks passed and Peter continued to play around the lighthouse. He had many friends in the village, but he didn't spend much time with them. He liked to stay close to his father and watch the sea. Sometimes they would fish together. Sometimes, Mr. Harrison would teach Peter how to clean the lighthouse or polish the big glass lens. Peter liked these moments, but he always thought, this isn't so hard. A stormy night. One evening, Mr. Harrison looked at the sky and frowned. Dark clouds were gathering in the distance. The sea, usually calm, had started to churn and the wind blew stronger. There's a storm coming, Mr. Harrison said quietly, a big one. Peter's heart raced with excitement. He had never seen a real storm before. The only storms he knew were small ones with a little rain and wind. This storm, though, looked different. As the hours passed, the wind howled louder, and the waves crashed higher against the rocks. The sky turned a dark, deep gray. The storm was getting closer. Peter could see flashes of lightning far out at sea. The waves rose like monsters, threatening to swallow the land. Mr. Harrison gathered supplies. He filled lanterns with oil, checked the doors, and made sure everything was secure. Peter watched him closely. Can I help, Father? Peter asked, eager to be part of the action. His father nodded. Stay close to me and do exactly as I say. Peter felt a mix of pride and fear. He had never seen his father so serious before. The storm wasn't just exciting anymore. It was dangerous. The storm hits. By midnight, the storm was in full force. The wind howled like a wild animal, shaking the walls of the lighthouse. Rain lashed against the windows and the sea roared angrily. Peter could barely hear his father's voice over the noise. The light must stay on. Mr. Pye Harrison shouted, no matter what happens, the ships need to see the light. Peter nodded, his eyes wide with fear. The lighthouse's huge lantern shone brightly through the storm, cutting through the darkness like a beacon of hope. Peter imagined the sailors out at sea, struggling to find their way to safety. Without the light, they would be lost. Suddenly, a loud crack echoed through the air. Peter jumped. The wind had snapped one of the trees near the lighthouse, and it crashed to the ground, barely missing the building. We have to keep going, Mr. Harrison said, his voice steady but tense. Peter, come with me. 
Together, they climbed the stairs to the top of the lighthouse, where the lantern was. The wind was even stronger up there, and the lighthouse shook under its force. Peter could feel his heart pounding in his chest. His hands trembled as he helped his father check the lantern. The light is everything, his father reminded him. If the light goes out, they will crash. Peter understood now. The lighthouse wasn't just a building. It was a lifeline. It was the only thing standing between the sailors and the deadly rocks. Have a moment of crisis. As the storm raged on, Peter's father handed him a small lantern. Take this, he said. Go downstairs and check the windows. Make sure no water is coming in. If the light upstairs goes out, use this one to guide me. Peter nodded and hurried down the stairs, got his heart still racing. The storm was terrifying, but he knew his father was counting on him. He checked each window carefully, just as his father had taught him. The wind and rain battered the glass, but everything seemed secure. Then, suddenly, everything went dark. Peter froze. The big light in the lighthouse had gone out. He heard his father shout from upstairs. The storm must have damaged the lantern. Peter! His father's voice called through the darkness. Peter fumbled with the small lantern in his hands. His fingers shook, but he managed to light it. The dim glow seemed so small compared to the powerful light from the big lantern, but it was all they had now. Bring the light, his father shouted. Peter ran up the stairs, holding the small lantern high. When he reached the top, he saw his father working frantically to fix the big lantern. The wind was so strong that Peter could barely stand, but he held the small lantern steady. We need this light back on or the ships will be lost, his father said, his voice filled with urgency. Peter nodded, his fear replaced by determination. He realized now that the light wasn't just important, it was life and death. The sailors out at sea were counting on them. Peter stood there, holding the small lantern as high as he could, trying to shine it through the storm. A lesson learned. After what felt like an eternity, Mr. Spy Harrison finally managed to fix the big lantern. It flickered back to life, shining brightly once again. Peter sighed with relief, but his father didn't relax. We can't let our guard down, Mr. Harrison said. The storm isn't over yet. Peter stayed by his father's side for the rest of the night, helping him keep the light steady. They worked together, both of them knowing how important their job was. When morning finally came, the storm had passed. The sea was calm once more, and the sky was a clear, pale blue. The village was quiet, but Peter knew that out at sea, the sailors had made it safely to shore. His father turned to him and smiled. You did well, Peter. You helped save lives tonight. Peter felt a warmth in his chest. For the first time, he truly understood the responsibility his father carried every day. It wasn't just about lighting a lantern. It was about protecting others, even when no one was watching. I'm proud of you, his father added. But remember, Peter, this is a lesson for life. Whether it's the lighthouse or anything else you do, never take your responsibility lightly. Someone is always counting on you, even when you don't realize it. Peter nodded. He knew his father was right. The storm had taught him a lesson he would never forget. 
the moral of the story. The moral of the story is that with great responsibility comes great commitment. Sometimes the tasks we take for granted hold the lives and well being of others in our hands. Just like Peter learned, no matter how small or simple our job seems, we must always give it our best effort because others might be relying on us more than we know.